The story so far. After successfully infiltrating the Ravis mansion, Therian was confronted by the butler Heathcote, who ensnared him with a fool's bangle. Now he begrudgingly ventures forth to find the three dragonstones, lost treasures of House Ravis, at the behest of their owner, Lady Cordelia, that he might have his mark of shame removed. And so he arrives in town, where rumor has it the ruby stone resides. As for who holds it, none can say. And thus, Therian's search begins. Now then. A scholar and noble court. Thanks, Heathcote. Those are, those are like a leaf a dozen here. I need something more to go on than that. I'm glad it's on the outskirts if I can, if I, I avoid it if I can. Hi. That creepy old mansion in the north part, northwest part of town? I heard someone actually lives there. Who? A man named Orlick. They say, they, they said he's some kind of scholar. What business would a scholar have living here? Research, apparently. He spends all his time locked up in his study, studying some shiny red stone. His men won't let anyone in to see him. If you ask me, it sounds like he's hiding something. <laughs> he may very well, he may very well be, but I'm fine letting him keep his secrets. Interesting. The secrets he can keep, but that stone is a different story. Time to do some research of my own. Outskirts of town, was it? Ha <laughs> ha! So we have our lead. We know where we must go to the outskirts of town. This must be the place. And of course it's guarded. A scholar with his own personal armored guard? Yeah, that's not suspicious or anything. No back door either. I can't get a free pass anywhere these days. I'll swing by the tavern. Someone's bound to know something. Alright, I guess we'll head to the tavern. Well, you know, Therian, despite how terrible this seems, you've actually been handed quite a bit of luck, all things considered. You should be a little happy for yourself. You've literally just been handed what you need to know. You can't get much better than that, my friend. Not really. Now, Who here looks like they know about our friend Orlick? Hello. How, how's business, my friend? Well, you see, not good. I'm afraid. I, I'm afraid. I'm hope. I hope you're faring better. <sighs> I wish I could tell you so, but it's been hard lately f for us too. Oh. My condolences. Mine too. Moving on. I just don't get these people. Locked away in that manner, surrounded by guards? It's strange, isn't it? Makes me wonder just what Orlick's up to in there. Well, 
That's more like it. Hey. Mind if I have a seat? Hello? Not at all. Can I get to two of you a drink? All right then. That's mighty kind of you, stranger. What brings you here? You don't look like you're from around these parts. I'm a wanderer going wherever my feet take me, and there's nothing better than a tall ale and a good tale after a day of traveling. If you don't mind me asking, who's this Orlick fellow you were talking about? <laughs> if you're that interested, he'll tell you all about him. Consider it thanks for the drinks. Orlick's the talk of the town right now. Proof in. He's, he's a scholar. And one, I dare say, went off the deep end, hold himself up in the building on the edge of town. Word is, he's doing some kind of research and hasn't come out since. Just so. I heard he's investigating a stone, but nobody knows what for. <laughs> um, that definitely sounds like he's got a few screws loose. <laughs> you got that right. He's one you don't want to get involved in, with. Now that I think about it, didn't he have a research partner? Oh. Yeah, I heard it was another eccentric one. I think he's still doing research in town. Hmm. Uh, what's his name? If I recall... Barnum? Bar Barham? Barham? Yeah, that's it. He worked in the manor with Orlick, but they went their separate ways after a disagreement. Is that so? I guess they were too much for each other to handle. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like it anyway. I hope that states your curiosity, Wanderer. Thanks. It does. Thank you for your time, gentlemen. Now, to track down this barham. You know, I was I was incredibly expecting that bracelet of yours to get you into trouble, but it seems like it hasn't done much to your ability to talk to people. Oh, so this is a feature of Octopath Traveler, Travel Banter. Let's take a look. Not a bad crowd, if I say so myself. Hmm. Of course, the tavern where I used to ply my trade was far livelier. It's hard to rouse a crowd without a little entertainment, after all. The quiet works for me, especially when I need to talk shop. Is that so? Still, I might as well perform one dance and lift the people's spirits. Hey, where do you think you're going? We need to keep a low profile. Hm, huh. can't a girl have a little fun? That... That doesn't surprise me, actually. That that really doesn't surprise me. They... Wow. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me at all that Primrose would want to ply her trade. She's a working gal, after all. Alright. Ah, oh, must be in this house, then. Now then. Let's see if he's home. Who's there? Someone looking for a man named Barham. Let's hurry this up. I'm Barham. What business do you have with me? Is that so? I heard you used to be Orlick's research partner. Is that true? Yes, yes. That was a long, that was long, long ago. I have nothing to do with the man now, and all the better for it. If that's all you came for, for you can leave now. Goodbye. <laughs> Wait, hear me out. Orlick has something I need. What? And what and what's that? I'll give you a hint. It's the subject of his research. The Ruby Dragonstone? Indeed. That's the one. I see. I surmise you plan to take it from him. Guilty as charged. <laughs> And you need my help. That's right. Mm-hmm. I see. So you came to ask me how to get into his place. <laughs> you scholars are quite quick on the uptake. Let's hurry this up. Hmm. Very well. I'll give you an. An I'll give you the answer you seek. 
You'll need a password to enter. Uh -huh. And the password is... <laughs> Presumptuous, aren't we? I'll tell you on one condition. Is that so? Let's hear it. Get what I need from my experiment, from my experiment, and we'll call it a deal. Sure. Sounds fair. What do you need? Pure water filtered through the desert sands. The kind only found in the most pristine oasis. Hmm. Silly me. I actually thought your demand was going to be reasonable. It is, you fool. A merchant from the Sunlands oft comes to town selling this very water. However, this rarely does this rarity doesn't come cheap. <laughs> Price is never my problem, consider it done. Of course we have something stupid to have to do. Why wouldn't we? Come one, come all, I present to you the most precious and refreshing beverage in the realm. Oasis water, all natural and free of even the slightest impurities. One sip and you'll taste the difference. You there, how about a drink? Thieving time. If you lead a, if you lead a thief to water... Oh, more travel banter. Let's give a listen. So, so how does how dost thou pro So, how does thou propose to get water from the merchant? Do you have to ask? You know what I do for a living. Thievery. Don't don't approve, do you? To speak truly, I do not. Fair enough. It's no secret what I do isn't exactly noble. Thou need not defend defend in thine self. We are comrades. I can put aside my personal I can put my personal prejudices aside. Comrades, huh? Did I say something odd? No, never mind. Huh. I should be more than capable of stealing. Huh. I trust you won't be missing this. Huh, pay for pay for freight pay for a resource? Yeah, screw that noise. I have better shit to do than pay. I don't pay to get around. That's ridiculous. And that's that. I hope you're thirsty. Uh -huh. That was faster than I anticipated. Now then. I fulfilled my end of the bargain. Now tell me the password. No. Now, now, your bar your half is fulfilled when I say it's fulfilled. I see what's happening here. I should hope so. I need a few more things for my experiment, if you'd be so kind. If you insist. Thieves are notorious for being kind. How can I help you? I require a wavering scale. Can you procure one for me? I don't know. Where can I find one? If you want facts, they're sold in town from time to time. It's highly prized by scholars as a or as a reagent, and carries a price to match. Got it. I'm noticing a trend here, but yes, I can get it for you. Yes, yes. Uh, come on, dude. Why are you giving me the rub like this? This ain't cool. Like, I get it. You need shit. And I'm more than happy to help you. Don't leave me on. That's not freaking cool. Making me steal shit. Making me ply my trade. I don't want to ply my trade. I want to get paid, baby. I'm just trying to get this thing off my wrist, dog. This shit's fucking me up. Ah, wavering scale. Huh, I trust you won't be needing this. 
Nice. Another wave, uh, waver and scale. Procured. Easy as, easy as pie. Now, I'm pretty sure some of you have noticed that I don't have the same team. I have a slightly different team than I did before. Um, I have Miss Ophelia, who will be filling in the role of dancer. And a healer. So yeah, little changes, little things. Not the massive. That. I got what you asked for. Perfect. You're quite good at your craft. I need a password, not praise. I need, and I need, just one more thing. Wonderful. Remind me, who's the crook here? <laughs> That's a fine attitude to have if you don't want the password. <laughs> All right, but this is the last one. Yes, yes. Yes, I promise. It's a special kind of ore, metallic in nature, but crystal clear. Once I have it, I can begin my experiment. <laughs> Music to my ears. Hey, for those of you who are a fan of my podcast, Miss Sugarcube has just signed online because I never turned off the notifications. <laughs> Whoops. That's a thing. You have to send. Hello. I love how we just go around just stealing shit. Talk about taking the piss out of this. Yes. Here, take it. Now do your job already, Christ. And that's that. I got what you asked for. Here. Catch. Careful. <laughs> Aren't you forgetting something, old man? You promised me a password. Orlick and I have known each other since our years at the Academy. We acquired that manor as a place to continue our research. But he changed after coming across that dragon stone. It was almost like he was possessed, his life consumed by his research. He wouldn't let anyone get near him, not even me. That's why I want to help you get that stone away from him. It's not meant to be held by our hands. Hmm. The password is the truth of all things. Well, I'll be dead. Huh. That's easier to remember. That's that's easy enough to remember. Yes. Yes, and take this with you too. This is... This is a key. True. Observant. I see. You use those materials to make this. Yes, yes. You're a natural-born researcher, boy. Now, now the pass... Now the password will get you into the mansion. But the door to the laboratory can only, only be opened with that key. Hmm. Makes you... Makes you think he doesn't want anyone getting in. Not even an, not even an old friend like you. Yes, we may have disagreed from time, but from time to time, but Orlick is still like a brother to me. My warnings may have nothing but may have been nothing but noise to him, but I wouldn't be much of an older brother if I didn't nag from time to time. Passion is important in our line of work. But there's a fine line between between that and obsession, and Orlick has crossed the line. Hmm. So this moving friendship, so this moving friendship, or maybe brotherly love, is why you're so willing to help me? <laughs> I wonder. 
Perhaps it's jealousy or hatred that comes to drive me. But those bygone days are precious to me, even now. I know what I feel is true. Oh, really? Tugs the old heartstrings. By my own reas by my own reasons are more than enough to go through with this. Thanks. Friends, brothers, partners. All right. I think we're in the clear. <laughs> Those Siano bastards finally got what they deserved. Always strutting around like they bleed and own the place. I wish I could see their boats when they realize someone beat them to it. No matter how hard they look, they won't find our treasure. <laughs> Something this rare would be wasted on them anyway. You said it now. Now we'll just sell this gem and... Wait... Something wrong? Uh, Where are the gold coins we stole? We said we split the spoils. <laughs> ah, sharp as attack, aren't you? It's not much, so I thought I'd just hold on to it and buy you a tiddly later. I see. I see. Then let's celebrate with let's celebrate with this tonight. <gasps> yeah, let's. All right. Don't let your guard down. The Cyanos, Cyanos will come for revenge at some point. They call themselves thieves, but they'll resort to vi They call themselves thieves, but they'll resort to violence if need be. Thanks. I know. Thanks for looking out, partner. No. No problem. Now let's get moving. All right, we got what we need. So I have a feeling this bangle is going to be playing a role in why we're not going to be able to get away, why we're not going to be able to get in. But we're going to try it. Hold on. Halt! What business do you have here? There's no need to sneak around now that I have the password. If I play my card right, I can walk in. I have a package for or Orlik. Materials for his research. Oi. You hear anything about delivery? Nah. Not me. Hmm. That's odd. Maybe the message just got lost somewhere. Anyway, he said it was urgent, so I rushed over. Understood. What's the password? The truth of all things. Alright, you may pass. Much obliged. Time to get to work. Where would we be without guards? You know, I'm really surprised that that bangle I have to wear didn't somehow bite me in the ass. Oh dear. Alright boys and girls, I will see you all next time on Octopath Traveler. Stay tuned, I got some work to do. Yeah, you know what time it is. Anyways, guys, have a nice one.